Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. On this video, we're making some progress on Chapter 8, All That Glitters. Looking at our story, we're at Gilded Paradise. Follow the others to the ticket gate. Okay, let's go. And we've got a robed man here. Of course, they are everywhere. And up ahead, we have a staff room. Another robed man, just hanging out. And we've got materia. Healing materia. Well, we'll hold on to that for now. I don't think anybody needs to have that equipped. and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good, but why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Others are waiting. You know you have a very rich theme park when you have multiple helipads set up for people to uh, come and go. People with money are coming here. And then there's us. Although I guess we got a decent amount of money now. All our scheduled flights are currently full. We apologize for the inconvenience. Right, looks like we can't fly out of here. This is our desert parking area. Access is reserved for guests with vehicles and their companions. Desert parking area. I wonder if I could use that vehicle in the desert. That would be fantastic. I hope so. Maybe. Maybe. Theme song is stuck in his head. It's in her head too. It's infectious. Yep, they're doomed. That's gonna be in their head forever. Welcome to the Gold Foster, Kubo. You'll find the main entrance just up ahead. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Well, thank you, robot. I was not expecting you to talk to me. Welcome, one and all, to the Gold Saucer. Beyond our glittering gates, you'll find a world of wonders. A world filled with magic that belongs to you as well. Because the Gold Saucer is now your home away from home. Countless dreams and delights await. We hope you enjoy them to your heart's content. Okay, well, let's catch up uh, to the others. They're over here. They're amongst this giant crowd. What's going on? Just gonna sit by there. 
Excuse us. Coming through. Director. And you, sir, are Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we do? <laughs> Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? Do this, Cloud. Alright, give him a right hook with R2. Well. Give him a left hook with L2. Uh, all right. Give him a right hook with R2. Alright, sway to the left with the left stick. Dodged it. Sway to the right with the right stick. Another dodge. Well, all right. Give him a hook with the right two, uh, or with the R two rather, because he yeah. lowered his left arm. We block that guard just as the enemy is about to throw a punch to sway out of the way. I don't know what they was trying to say there, but L two, we got him. Let's see if you have what it takes, young man. All right, now for the real deal. He's trying to punch me. Dodge out of the way. Now All wait. Right. He lowered his right arm, so give him the left hook. Dodged him. Well, give him the right hook. 
Putain, je démagais. Dodge this left hook. Give him the right hook. Boom. Oh, a block there. Right hook. Limit break. L2 plus R2. Hope you're ready. Quickly done, Cloud. Well fought, young man. Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause! Well, thanks. <laughs> nice punching up there, Cloud. <laughs> A small token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Nicely done. Did you were pretty nervous. Cloud's used to performing in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Aerith. Oh, you've got to tell me that one later. Welcome to paradise. So, now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sure. Sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun in Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote, then. Teensy little prick! All those in favor! Me! Me! <laughs> yeah! Who should be? Yay or nay? I, uh... <laughs> Have your fun. While you still have time. Hey. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No. I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Haunted Hotel, is that where we're going? Looks like it. What the hell is wrong with those guys? It won't last. What? Mako, when it's dawn, so is this. Where'd that come from? Paraphrasing you. Well, you're not wrong, but I get your point. Live it up while you can. You just not promised to no one. That's fancy. Just gliding us along. I like that. Sh 
Check this place out. Haunted house, I like it. Or haunted hotel, sorry. to clear those somber skies. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just didn't go shooting the messenger, eh? This some kind of toy? You do, lads. Eyes up here. <laughs> okay, Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. <laughs> it's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off! Folks like me. Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Yeah, don't worry about it, pal. Barrett's a bit cranky. Alright, let's go in. Well, let's take a look around. We'll start over here. I like that entrance. The room service here is next level. A Tonberry robot delivers your food right to your doorstep. The clerk appears to be absent. The room service is apparently good, but the service here, maybe not so much. So a friend told me the story. One evening, right around midnight, he hears a sound outside his room. So he gets up, goes over to the door, and looks through the people. Sees an old Tonberry robot, battered little thing, with a huge knife dripping blood. As he shuffles down the hallway, real slow, till he's out of sight. Come on, man. Oh, it's true. Was looking for the jerk who smashed it up. Night after night, that Tonberry stalks the hotel halls, seeking revenge. And if it crosses paths with ill-mannered guests, that remind it of the one who did it wrong. Stab right through their heart. A robot with a grudge. Scary stuff. Ooh, killer. 
Tom Berry robot. Nice. That's a creepy looking picture. Look at that. Alright. Looks like we got some ghosts over here playing Queen's Blood. I want in on a ghostly Queen's Blood match. That'd be fun. Okay, let's check in. Hmm. Tacky and understaffed. Great. Hello? <laughs> Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? <sighs> he was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh. I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <sighs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? <sighs> You trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> Toodaloo! Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Wow, that was quite helpful. And they're waiting for me up here. Thanks for the hand. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you through. You can answer any question? Well, of course! Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right, hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What, indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on! Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? We're done. Wait, don't go! Third time's a charm! Come on, you stupid thing! Any 
teeth in the matter. <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. Uh, see what this crap does. My apologies, sir. All right, so our room is upstairs, but let's look around first. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. Stars mustn't be smiling on me. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. You won't believe this, but I finally got the Marlboro room. I've heard it's to die for. I can't wait to spend an entire night surrounded by Marlboro everything. Now that's the stuff of dreams. I'm in the Mandragora room myself. There's no better way to start your day at the Gold Saucer than to be woken by the sound of screams. I love it. But now that I've managed to book the Marlboro suite, what should I try next? Decisions, decisions. I'd like to stay in the behemoth. But alas, that one's reserved for families only. Oh, I know. Why don't we book it together? Half the cost, double the fun. Are you sure? That would be perfect. One night in the behemoth room is all I need to complete my sweet conquest. Wow, these ladies are really into this place. They gotta hit every room. Something tells me I'm going to have the worst nightmares when I go to bed. I'm getting this tingling up and down my spine. Wait, maybe I've got some kind of sixth sense. Okay, let's go up to our room. You wish to go down, I presume? Uh, up, actually. Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Oh. <laughs> Reservation under the name Palmer, Director of Space and Aeronautics. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> It says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. Uh, while we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <clears throat> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress! We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. <laughs> Why, thank you. That's funny, we took their rooms. Wonder how... Wonder how he pulled that off. I need his tricks. Hmm. Alright, anyways, let's check out this room. Toys. 
Jesus. <sighs> Start to miss Johnny's seaside flea trap. I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. But not for fun, just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. This thing is terrifying and cute. Alright, what's going on in this room? Got the creepy looking statue. Or the bust, I should say. This door was just jiggling. Well, that wasn't that scary. They need to try harder. Hey, we have a chest here. <laughs> you jumped a little, Cloud. Just a little. Alright, we got a magic lamp here. Fancy. Alright, well, maybe we'll lay down on this bed. Oh, I would lose my mind. I would leave that hotel immediately. Oh, book fell. Let's put that back. Guess that book's just gonna keep falling. We got the creepy hands on the window. Cloud didn't even react to that at all, though. Alright, I give up on the book. Screw the book. Alright, well. I think that's everything there is in this room. Should probably get some sleep. Oh, I thought I had to go to that side. Tom Barry, why are you chasing me? It's really creepy. Yeah, you keep your distance. Alright, let's get some rest. Go to sleep? Yes. More tired than I thought. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Okay, we're back at Zack. And Aerith is here. seen material like this before something about the color didn't peg you as a bookworm okay let's go outside Let's see what's going on in this room. Nothing. Got a nice sewing machine, though. Alright, so we're at Aerith's house. Let's go downstairs.
Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Vix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. <gasps> mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. Who's knocking at the door? And our little Tonberry appears to be charging. Hey, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right, just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah, Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am, the odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What, like you can't? I don't know. I act like I can. Think I always have. Ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? With me, I mean. No pressure. Of course I'm up for it. Gold saucer points. Participate in the park's attractions to earn gold saucer points, GP. Then exchange your GP for illustrious collector's items, as well as other useful trinkets, at kiosks located around the park. Alright, it's me and Tifa. Poor Tifa, she got ditched. That's alright, we'll have a good time. Going down to the lobby, sir? <laughs> yes. You were correct this time. See you again 
Look who it is. It's Chadley. Hello there, Cloud. It's not often I see you in the company of a single comrade. Oh, yes. I believe I understand the situation. Forgive me. I didn't mean to intrude. You're both overdue for a break. Enjoy yourselves tonight. The Gold Saucer is powered by proprietary modular reactors, but due to environmental concerns, the reactors are cycled between active and dormant states to slow Corel's desertification. Don't concern yourself with our research while you're here, Cloud. Use this time to unwind. It'll do you good. Hello there, Cloud. Are you enjoying yourself here at the Gold Saucer? Four years ago, the park underwent extensive renovations and was outfitted with state-of-the-art technology. Even today, the Gold Saucer continues to expand, with new attractions currently in the works. The Gold Saucer is powered by... But due to environmental... The reactors are cycled okay. between active and dormant states to slow Corel's desertification. Let's go down into the lobby. <laughs> I'd love to have his job. I don't know about that. I don't know if I'd want to hang upside down all day long. Let's summon him down. I don't know if Tifa's been scared yet. <laughs> Is fatigue haunting your every footstep? Take a load off. Oh, she didn't react at all. Rest in your hotel room? Nah. All right, let's see if the bartender is here. She is. Hello. The is here. Just so you know, I was bitten by a zombie a few days ago. If you want to exchange your points, you'd better hurry before I turn. <laughs> All right. Let's trade. Let's see. You can get a stuffed tonberry, a collector's item, a toy holding a felt knife that amuses rather than kills. There's Secrets of the Ninja Volume 2 for 100 points. A collection of writings containing long-held mysteries of the ninja increases Yuffie's skill points. There's card 137, The Haunted Hotel, a legendary Queen's Blood card. And that's 150 points. And then X Potions are 500 points, which seems a bit crazy. They fully restore HP. That seems a bit expensive. Come back soon. Because I don't think I have that much time left. Alright, Tifa, let's go out. Well, hello! Whatever it is you're off to today, allow me to be your guide. Your mobile guide. Your golden guide. Speak to the robotic guide Moogle to fast travel from one area of the park to another. Where would you like to go, Kubo? And you can see there's lots of places to go, uh, but we're just gonna go on foot. We look forward to serving you again soon, Kubo. All right, and that gave us a new discovery. So anyways, we've arrived at the Gold Saucer. We're checked in and uh, we're ready to go see some of the park, but we'll be doing that on the next video. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.